Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you five things you need to know about using videos in Google Slides. So let's go ahead and take a look here at my sample slides, and I'm going to insert a video. Now, what you need to know is there are three ways that you can add a video. You can do a search for a video and say something like, I want to know more about Google Slides, and put a video about Google Slides into your Google Slides. If you know the direct URL for a video, put that link in here. Or if you own a video, you can go ahead and upload it to your Google Drive. So go to your Google Drive, hit New, select File Upload, and you can then find it this way to insert your video. Maybe I'll use this one about emailing your teacher. And now once that video is in the slide, we have some more options. First of all, we can click and drag to resize it and put it in a different spot on the screen. Now, if there's a part of the video that we want to show without showing the beginning or the end, you can specify a start and end time. So maybe I'll have this one start at the 10 second mark and end right at the one minute mark. From here, I can select the option to have it automatically play when I get to that slide in my presentation. If you turn that option off, the video will only play once you click play on that slide or click your keyboard or click your remote to start playing it, depending on how you're presenting your slides. You can also mute the audio for your video which can be nice if you have found a video that has a nice demonstration but doesn't have great audio. Or maybe you don't need the audio, you just want the, the visual aspect. You can mute the audio as it plays back. Now, down here we also have options for size and rotation. If we want to resize it manually, we can do it that way. Or again, click and drag. But I also like to show the drop shadow option here. And this will allow you to display a little shadow to kind of make the video pop out from the screen a little bit. You can see I can include that, increase that angle and that distance and blur it more. I can even go in and change the color on that. I can also, from there, go up to my border weight and include a border around the video and change the color of that border so that it matches my drop shadow. So there's a handful of things you should know about using video in Google Slides. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out practicaledtech.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.